Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Two Against the Overlord campaign together with Tabcat. It is time for Operation Wailing Paramar and as I mentioned in episode 42, this is a recasting or re, uh, re uh, recording of uh, the action because I lost episode 42, 44 and 48. So as per the last time I will be focusing on a good tactical mission and then call it quits because afterwards everything that would essentially happen uh, wouldn't fully tie up with uh, what you would see at the beginning of Tabcat's mission. So I apologize for that uh, again, but there is nothing you can do if your hard drive uh, just doesn't want to work. So, without further ado, let's go into Operation Wailing Paramour, where we're going in with our usual team. Central, as always, is a bit of a Mimi and uh, tells us that we need to make progress, but we are making progress. Uh, these fine gentlemen, aka the squad that I'm mostly using, are indeed making quite a bit of progress. So, buckle up Buttercup, it's time for a nice mission. And here we go. Menace one five, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Well, if Advent already knows, then that is not great. But what we can do is 12 rounds for the extraction. Let's uh, use the only concealed soldier that we do have, which is Spectre. It's a bit of a reconnaissance unit here. Nothing there. Interesting. Good. Hogbite is moving in. Nothing there either. I don't want to push my luck too far, but let's try something. Grappling. Bit of a speed up for Trojan. On Who's the then going to take this position here? And what I've just done is secure the parameter where we're going to take uh, all of the other soldiers. Now that we know that this is not triggering, we might as well go there. Running. VIP moves in last. Before that, I would like to position ourselves here. And then, oh come on. And then the VIP finally moves as well. Might as well position him here for now. Overwatch and we're ready. Okay, um, how about we are continuing to scout. Moving to position. This might trigger something. It does not. Ooh, okay. 11 turns is still plenty. Blue moves for now. Rolling out. VIP stays a little bit further in the back. Absolutely. And listen, I think our sniper is still the stealthy one for now. So, might as well move in and use them as a scout. Okay, 
Okay, definitely plenty of overwatches. Uh, that looks like the first pack is kind of, yeah, at the end of uh, that building. Hostile targets in sight. Very strong psionic presence of this guy, potentially a witch hunter. I don't mind triggering him. You know what? Let's do that. Trigger him. And we can still take it from there. Very nice. Good. Cool. Moves to full cover. And can we please get that guy as well? Come on, just a little, a tiny bit further. All right, apparently not the case, but we can at least get rid of uh, the cover. Okay, fabulous. And next up. Confirmed. Oh, that's just one target that we can see. Good, before we we're doing that, um, let's throw the axe, make him burn, that's good. Easy. All right, that'll tr uh, trigger breaching maneuver. We'll get another position and time for our Templar to get some focus. Fantastic, good. Uh, not sure why exactly the whole building on this side here collapsed just because the Templar was throwing a punch over here But that is some Kamehameha shit if I've ever seen uh, some Good scouting Lots of enemies. All right, and we're parrying. Cool. So if we would trigger this pack, that would be not too shabby. That's two bishops and a Spectre Prime. Okay, well, we already know that there is another pack that would be adding themselves to the mix once we're starting to engage. Hmm. Good question, what are we going to do? Well, for starters, let's slowly move up. That's not bad. Again, for starters, this will split the codex, but there is no easy way for us to deal with the codex alone. The double explosion is a nice added benefit.
Okay. <laughs> so. What you gonna do, my boy? I think that's a good start. I mean, we could go for dual strike, but we want we really want uh, that one shot pop off. All right, didn't work. Need to come up with a different plan. And that different plan will include advanced team working. Free reload. Um, and that's a mimic beacon that we could use. Out. More cover if needed. Could go for this. Could go for this. We we'll also just take care with frost bomb. You know what? Um, how about we're doing uh, this? Grab up. Into this. Into taking out an Archon with a Frostbite. That's good. Into hopefully critting, which of course, one, it counts. And we're not doing there we go I think that's into stasis okay fantastic breaching maneuver get enough uh, space in here oh I saw another pack right here you gotta be super careful then next up Advanced uh, teamwork. We got Blade Storm, and Blade Storm should trigger with Codex Speed. So it moving triggers blade storm, and that triggers its demise. Very good. Carrying. So we got a mimic beacon if needed. Got another mimic beacon here. This is a kill. Or at least the stasis. Unfortunately, it doesn't trigger the uh, reset. Very unfortunate. We're going to Overwatch here, and I would like to use a Mimic Beacon. So those two pranksters might go for the Mimic Beacon. There's the extra pack I was talking about. Grandiose timing to pull itself. That worked out very well. S 
some overwatch. Okay, cool. Listen. Uh, we're doing we're doing alright. Time for us to deal with the codex. Not too shabby. It's Free reload. Good. This will give us sight to the last remaining codex, which is exactly what I needed. We are going to advance teamwork. Sniper takes care of all of the codices. I think I might be using a frost grenade for a crowd control here. I'm on it. I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, the answer is unfortunately no. That's a kill and a bit. Let us use all of our abilities. And for starters, this Arco needs to die. Good, good shot. Excellent, good. That solves the Archon problem. to solidly go over here and out of their line of sight. There's a small chance of a kill. No, not happening. Big fat reload, just in time. We're moving into full cover and I would like to overwatch. Good shot with tail and rounds, but not really good enough. Gateway. I figured that that would be the case. Unfortunate. Good, plenty of enemies. Target rich environment. As we used to say. Let's go for the gatekeeper first. I still hit. hit 
And let's continue to rock it. Very, very, very well. Good, that would trigger Overwatch from above there. Don't mind. Moving to position. Fire in zone. I, must focus my I don't mind. Boom. Good, we're removing cover. Plenty of damage for the enemy. On your order. Move up. Get the purifier. Got a nice little breaching maneuver. question so for starters we would need to reload but there is a good chance that we're actually going to kill him yep C8 applied to Spectre over here. Not a problem. Moving over here. And setting the Lancer up for a swift and Painful death. Well, if it is swift, it wouldn't be painful, right? But yeah, setting him up for a kill. We do have Shadow Step, uh, which will allow us to just get up there, not to trigger any Overwatch. And deal with the Archon. Cool. On the move. I just love how Templar moves. The unapologetic nature of just getting up there and killing. Uh, the Archon. Apparently the game didn't like it as much as I did, so let's see if uh, we can save this one or if I need to restart. Nope, but it's a straight up crit. Good, look at that, we're back. Sometimes XCOM just seems to not like... seems to not like it when you're uh, killing the enemies or when you're grappling and doing crazy stunts. Move up. Um, we're moving here. Spectre actually takes a nice little jump over here. And everybody else is rushing in as well. Okay, that was not a trigger. But I'm surprised that uh, this wasn't the last pack. Holy shit, I was close. I was 
fully expecting we would get out of here. Interesting situation. Okay, well, we indeed need to watch the flank. I'm going. Newton Pyro. It's almost down. Pyros do not have the ability to retaliate on their shots. Uh, on on melee, sorry. Not a problem. They lost that in exchange to a couple of other nice little abilities. On location. I'm on it. Yeah, we're going to play that safe without any big problems. And by safe, it means you two are taking a nice little chill pill. And after you're shredded, things are already looking up. Wow, look at that. Even got the nice little hair trigger frog. And that's a fitting two for one finish. Did he just destroy the hit so hard that the ceiling became invisible? That's even new for XCOM standards. End of turn. Okay, now we're finally done with uh, all of the enemies. It was a bit of a messy mission in between. Could have done better with the gatekeeper and uh, should have anticipated that the Mimic Beacon in turn one shouldn't have been from our uh, from our Marine, but rather from the Sniper that would have uh, given us much more momentum in the follow-up uh, turn. Overall, it was still fine. I mean, we were not at any point in danger of actually dying. Um, and we engaged three to four packs, which typically happens in these VIP missions, right? Where uh, at some point you come, uh, you come to that situation where every uh, pot is around the VIP and then you are around kind of uh, a line of sight barrier. In this case it was the, the street. And the moment that you engage one, all of the others are starting to chime in. So overall, good mission. We saved the princess and uh, got everybody else out, which is more than you can ask for. Uh, that is the point where this uh, very recording would end. I thank you for watching the episode, m more of a combat episode. Um, the next one, 46 uh, from my end, uh, is the original one, so we're fine. And we got one more stand for 48 coming in. But then I've made up for all of the lost footage. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the collaborative playthrough, then let me know in the comments down below. And see you in the next episode, guys. Over to you, Tapcat. Bye-bye.